everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to, using a little gift set that was sent to me, I have two baby cousins and they sent me this gift for Christmas and I happen to know that the older one really likes to watch these videos with my aunt and I just wanted both of them to know how much I appreciate the gift and wanted to show them what could be done with it. So. The gift is this little kit. It's the Urban Decay Stoned Kit and it's the mini one. So they have a larger palette. It's called the Stone Palette, but it's large and there's like four matte shades in it and then the rest are all shimmers. So this is just the baby one, the baby one, the mini one. It's got three mattes and three shimmers. So I did have to play with it a little bit yesterday because I had this whole idea on what kind of look I wanted to do and then it just didn't work out. So I'm glad I practiced, but this is what we're gonna use today. And before we get started, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me and we will get started. So the first part of this kit is they did come with an eyeshadow potion, eyeshadow primer potion. So we are gonna use this today. That was actually really easy to blend out and put on. It is, it's got like a bit of a cream color looking at it, but it, it goes on clear, especially when it's blended out, it's clear. But I mean, it was really nice. It was actually pretty cooling on the eyes too, so that was nice. The second part of this kit is the 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil. This is an eyeliner pencil and again, I tried it yesterday and it, my idea just didn't come to fruition. So I don't know if I will get to use this today, but I'm really happy that it came with this pencil. For now though, we are going to start with the palette and again, just a little mini sized palette. I think it's adorable. I really actually like the colors that came in this palette as well, especially this deeper purple one. It kind of looks brown, but it is purple and I really like that. I also took out my Tati Beauty palette. There's just not like a deep enough transition shade in the Urban Decay Mini Stone palette for me. So I am gonna pull out my Tati Beauty palette and hit the Soothe Row. To start, we are going to take the Sequin Soothe shade. And I'm just gonna start that a little above my crease and blend it up to be my transition shade. Next, we're gonna go into these two matte shades. This one is called Eclipse, and then this one is called Attraction. So the deep purple and the light pink, and we are going to mix those colors. And we are going to place that on the outer third of the eye. And we're just going to deepen it up to the opacity that we want. And once we've got the opacity, then we're going to start blending it up into the transition shade. I'm also going to drag it over to in the crease as well. And if you need a little bit more to grid it all the way over here in the crease, it's okay to grab a little bit more pigment. Now we're going to do that to this side. First, we're going to build it up to the opacity we want, and then we'll blend. I am gonna go back to my transition shade color, that Suze shade from my Tati Beauty palette, and I'm just gonna start blending a little bit more. I'm not even gonna take any more product, just what's left on my brush. And we're just going to blend this top portion right here, just to keep the transition color present and also blend out any harsh purple lines. Now that I feel a little bit better about the edges, I am going to dip into this Radiant Shimmer. It's the pink one here. And I'm just gonna use my finger to start with. And we are going to place that right on the lid where we don't have any other color yet. And take it all the way to the inner corner. I am going to take a flat shader brush just like I normally do so I can get the pigment all the way into the inner corner. I really like this shimmer. I think it's so pretty because it's supposed to be very pink and in the pan, it looks really pink, but it's not just pink. I mean, there's green and blue flecks in it and gold and it's just, it's really pretty. I think this palette is so adorable. To finish up, we're gonna go back into the Sequin Soothe shade from the Tati Beauty palette. 
And we're just gonna go around all of the edges to make sure that color is still there for our transition. And I am actually gonna take it a little bit into the purple as well, just because I picked the sequins shade of suit. So I want some of the reflex in that shade to be on the purple. All right, so these are the top lids for now. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my eyelashes and we'll come back. The good news is there really wasn't too much fallout, so that's nice. We are gonna do the top coat of lashes and I'm just gonna use my Ilia Limitless Mascara. For primer, I'm just gonna go into my Rare Beauty Illuminating Primer. Take about a pump and a half of that and we'll place it all over the base. This month, I've been testing out the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation, so we're gonna use this one today. This is like the most runny foundation I think I've ever worn, but it is very pretty so far. So far, I've been liking it. For concealer, I'm going to use my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer like I normally do. I know the day is coming. This bottle is almost empty. One day. I already repurchased it, so like, now I just need the bottle to be empty. <laughs> but I don't want to waste it. And we're going to do a little down the nose too, just to brighten up the nose. Now we're gonna set this with my Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder that I just spilled everywhere. I am gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. I'm not using anything new, just my Benefit Gimme Brow. So please enjoy the brow intermission. Gosh, I just keep looking at the eyeshadow and I just love all of the sparkle and the different shimmers in that one shade. I think it's stunning. And because I'm on the topic of eyeshadow, why don't we go ahead and finish the lower lash line? I am going to start with my dark purple and my light pink shade. We're gonna mix those two again, nothing too heavy. And we are going to pinch the brush and start on the outer third here. And I am bringing that color in about halfway. Next, we're gonna go into the flat shader brush and we're gonna take this shimmer shade, the radiant pinky, not so pink shimmer shade. And that is gonna go on the inner portion of our eye from the corner all the way, oh, about three quarters. It's gonna overlap the purple. And for our last step, we're gonna go into our Soothe Transition shade, just taking a very minute amount, just so that shade looks kind of like a transition shade on the bottom as well. And that's just gonna go underneath those two colors and go along entire lash line. I did go ahead and get the Laura mascara on. So next we are gonna go into bronzer. And I've been testing this one out from Nabla, the skin bronzing. And we're just going to warm up the cheeks a bit. We'll do the forehead as well. And we'll also do some under the chin and down the neck just to keep everything cohesive. For blush, we're gonna use my M Cosmetics Magic Hour Blush. I like this one because it, it's kind of a brighter pink, but it's got a lot of shimmery flakes in it that kind of bring out a deeper tone to it. So I think it really matches this look and plus I really like it. So we're using it. 
And for highlighter, I've also been testing out this Nabla Skin Glazing. This is in the shade Privilege. I really like this one. It's got like a touch of ivory, but it's got some pink and gold shimmers to it as well. So, and we're just gonna put that on the high points of our cheeks and kind of do a C shape around the eye. I also like to put a touch on the tip of my nose and kind of on the top of the bridge of my nose and also the cupid's bow. I am going to use this as my inner corner highlight as well. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and pop it right here. And sometimes I get kind of like a harsh line between my inner corner and where the eyeshadow starts. So I just take like a really small flat brush, just kind of blend those together. That way it's not such a harsh line. For lips, yesterday I went to Walmart and needed a pencil sharpener and I just happened to stroll past the beauty aisles and I picked up this Wet n Wild lipstick. It's one of their new ones, but this is in, I know earlier this month I showed you, I picked up two of the matte shades of their new lipsticks. This is supposed to be the satin formula and it's in the shade Peach Please. I don't know how well it's gonna look with this eyeshadow, but I wanted the lips to be a little bit lighter and more neutral. So we're gonna test it out and worst case, we'll take it off if it doesn't look good. This kind of feels more like chapstick with like a touch of color to it. So I really like the formula. Um, I'm not totally in love with this color for this look, so I think we will change it out. But I like this formula. It feels good on the lips. So I ended up pairing it with the Fenty Lip Creams. This one doesn't have any sparkle to it just because I thought the eyes were very sparkly and I didn't want there to be sparkle on the lips and sparkle on the eyes. So that's, this is the one I went with. All right, so here's the finished look. I had so much fun today. This was more of just like messing around, playing with new one new product and doing my makeup really. I want to thank my family so much for this Urban Decay gift. This palette is so cute and I really enjoy playing with it. I will definitely continue to use it. Other than that, that's really all I've got for you guys today. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Before I go though, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button. It would mean so much to me. It helps me keep this channel going. I will be here Tuesdays and Fridays, 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye.